Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I'm so elated and will give you more information. Now let me carry down memory lane. Khalil Brown was the Chief Livestock Research Officer with the Bodles Research Station where I did about five years heading the Animal Nutrition and Forage Research Unit where I looked at developing low-cost feeding systems and utilizing low-cost feeds in our country to develop profitable livestock farming. I decided to improve myself and got a scholarship to Israel and I can tell you it was a jet lag flight. We started off at the Normal International Airport and it was an extra hour flight to John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City where I got to meet up with some of my old Arden friends, now Dr. Kavir Robinson, I'm so proud of you. And then we left from JFK and we're off to Tel Aviv, Israel, a beautiful city where that's the main campus, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. But we studied at the International University of Jerusalem, so we traveled to Riovat, and that's where we had our campus. So guys, welcome to Israel, and welcome to my journey through the streets of Israel. Adapting to the culture wasn't that hard. Probably the weirdest thing was that on Friday, the Shabbat, everything was closed, and we had to get used to adjusting to not having our Friday night lifestyle that we'd have back home. But overall, it was a great experience, and I met a lovely set of classmates the class of 2018, who had persons representing the continent of Africa, South America, Central America, North America. It was just a comprehensive group of people. And we enjoyed ourselves and we became a family, like me and my roommate, Sibu Sisu Delame, who speaks Osa, the language with the click. And it was really amazing to hear him during the nights and meet Alex from Malawi, who was like my best friend. And we have to say congratulations, Alex, who's now engaged to the beautiful Grace. Congrats guys, keep it up. So now welcome to the international campus, a beautiful campus with history coming from Albert Einstein. And I learned a lot here. State of the art technologies in poultry rearing, in small ruminantry rearing, in analyzing samples in materials at different levels, in growing embryos, in carrying aerobic stability for silage. I was exposed to livestock at state of the art technology. And I could say that I really learned so much and plan to carry back all this back home. And thanks to Professor Samir, who was lucky enough to come back to Jamaica to assist with my thesis here back home. But we worked with Samir in a dairy operation on farm, and we learned a lot about milking the sanding goats and Nubian goats, a lot of nutritional researches looking at the effects on milk production, looking at the effects on rumen development. And the most important thing was definitely the feeding system. And I learned a lot there about how not having grass we can still support our, our production by using forage conservation and how is it that we can optimize the use of this using forage-based diets and making a forage-based TMR and the importance of commercial silage making. And if you had time, you could help a friend and learn additional stuff like seed DNA ex extraction. It was a really lovely experience. And it was tiring also. We spent a lot of time in class trying our best to stay awake and we just motivate each other by taking pics of who would sleep and we all did this and strived until our presentation day and we're all so happy when we're finished doing our presentation and knowing that we're out of this place graduated and on top and what we did after we ate. no doubt we shared our culture we showed each other our main dishes back home and we enjoyed ourselves and developed that bonding as persons from different culture big up mother who was like the mother on the block and it was just an experience for us you know tasting a little from bolivia and from Kenya and from Uganda. Philip, how are you, man? It was a great experience. And then it was time for us to hit the road to shop. And as Jamaicans, you know, the clock stores first. And I bucked up on Vanessa Bling. She had a show in Tel Aviv and she was shopping in Rio It was an experience. And then we parted. We parted all night just to blow the steam away to keep ourselves young and fresh. And we went to the movies. That was the Wakanda Forever period. And we went bowling, it was just fun. We limboed into the new year together as a team. And we even salsa throughout the night to enjoy ourselves into the new year. And we ensured that we traveled Israel before we left. We traveled to the Dead Sea um, to get those beautiful salts that they have to purify your skin. We traveled through Jerusalem, like mountains around Jerusalem. And we visited the religious sites, the Western Wall, you know, to give homage, uh, visit the site where Jesus was laid in the temple. Uh, we spent Christmas in Nazareth 
and it was just an amazing time for us enjoying ourselves in the streets of Tel Aviv living like tourists you know we hardly get that experience when we're back home working and the beautiful Baha'i gardens that really opened my eyes to how that as a people if we're dedicated we can achieve something close to perfection so thank you guys for watching this YouTube video I hope it helps you and guys get to Israel and study we need more of us